In this video, I want to compare the Global to both the Miyabi Artisan and the Miyabi Mizu. The reason I say both is because they are 100% the exact same knife. The only difference is the handle. The Artisan has this rosewood handle, and the Mizu has the exact same blade, but it has this black composite handle with a really nice grain structure and the red accents on either side. Now, the Miyabi is completely and totally handmade from scratch, and it really shows in terms of the fit and finish when compared to the Global, which is made using an automated handmade process. Every single corner and edge has been rounded out. There are no sharp edges anywhere. The handle is completely and totally flush on both sides. Really nice attention and detail, like the logo being carved into the back of the handle, and this gorgeous mosaic pin, which is about 15 to 20 little tiny pieces of steel, copper, and bronze that are worked together and pressed into the handle. So you can tell that someone has put their heart and soul into making this knife. On the other hand, the Global is a very nice knife. It just doesn't have that same attention to detail. It has 90 degree angles everywhere, and you can even see the forging marks where they've made the knife. The Miyabi and the Global are very different in terms of the blades, as you can see. The Global is ground down to a 15 degree cutting angle, which is very sharp. It uses Chromova 18, which is a relatively soft steel at about a 56 to 58 hardness. And the blade is just the blade. It's just Chromova 18. By contrast, the Miyabi uses SG2, which is a very, very hard, very high-end powdered steel. And it's a roughly 63 hardness. And what that means is if you use the knives properly, realistically speaking, you're never going to have to sharpen them. The blade is ground down by hand using a three-step sharpening process to a wicked sharp nine degree angle. So not only is that single versus double digits, but it's roughly 50% thinner than the global, which means it is exponentially sharper. Either side of the blade is wrapped in another layer of SG2. So not only do you get this nice little wave design towards the bottom, but since it is powdered, you also get this really nice haze slash snowy effect and the top half is hammered, of course, to help with releasing food. The Miyabi has a full tang all the way down, and the global, a lot of people don't realize, is actually no tang at all. It is a hollow handle that's been filled with sand and then welded directly onto the blade. So that is something you want to consider when comparing the global to another set of knives. Either way, I'll put a link down to both below. If you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns, as always, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon.